Have huge spoilers for House of Ashes been accidentally leaked by Supermassive Games in, of all things, screenshot names? I was tipped off to this theory by Reddit user Ferret, who posted about this on the Dark Pictures subreddit. Let's take a look at the evidence. First up we have this image, which was originally titled Cursed Balathu Torch Death. I'm guessing that's Balathu with his torch in the picture, and this is presumably right before he gets killed? The cursed in the title could refer to the chapter name. Since the backstory involves a curse placed on Naram Sin for sacking a temple, it's a logical name to use for this part of the story. If this is, in fact, a scene from the prologue, it's looking more and more likely that the start of the game is going to be set thousands of years before the main action. Will Balathu be one of the playable characters? Might he be a corpse or even a villain we see later in the game? I bring up that possibility because of the next slightly spoilery photo. At first glance, this image of Nick Hay doesn't seem particularly noteworthy, but once you know what it was originally titled, hopefully the spoiler becomes clear. This image was called Vampire What Happened. On its own, that doesn't actually tell us a lot, but if you pair that image with this piece of footage like so... Facing an inhuman enemy threat. Who's there? You get a perfectly logical sequence of events, with Nick stumbling to a halt when he sees something inexplicable, a human being wearing ancient garb. We only see the sandals for now, but presumably he's got the rest of the outfit on as well. Like the people in the prologue sample footage we've seen. Does this mean that the game's enemies are vampires? Or is it just a chapter title chosen for thematic relevance? It does seem plausible though, especially considering that Supermassive has already done a full reveal of the Bat Monster. There's been plenty of discussion about the idea that Supermassive would likely only reveal the Bat Monster if they had something else up their sleeve. Could humanoid vampires be? that secret enemy? If so, how many vampires might there be? In the developer interviews, they've referred to a nest of enemies, which sounds like there must be at least a few. This brings me to the next issue. Why have we only seen one bat monster at a time in the videos? Is there just one bat monster and the rest of the enemies are vampires? Can the enemies transform from human to bat monster and back again? The fact that the soundtrack album has a track named Cocoon suggests either that enemies will wrap their victims up for feeding or that enemies themselves are capable of some kind of transformation. Of course, there's an outside chance that that's just the track that plays when this guy gets wrapped up in barbed wire. While we're on the subject, let's take a look at the track list from the game's soundtrack. Now, assuming the tracks are ordered by when they appear in the game, as is traditional, can we learn something about the plot by checking them out? Eclipse. This suggests that the game's prologue will take place during an eclipse, perhaps as part of the ceremony that leads to the curse? Weapons of Mass Destruction. This could be the audio track associated with the briefing scene, perhaps even the assault on the village. Rachel will probably be Rachel's theme, which we might hear as she's first exploring the tunnels. Assault could be the tense music that plays during the first creature attack, as we saw in the gameplay demo. City is likely a track that will play as they delve into the temple. Strange Eons, on the other hand. This is the most fascinating track name yet, because it's a reference to this line from Call of Cthulhu, a story by H.P. Lovecraft. That is not dead which can eternal lie, after many strange aeons even death may die. In context, this is about how Cthulhu may technically be dead in the sunken city of Rilieth, but eventually the rules will change and he will be back. This track listing is the clearest hint yet we've had that there will be characters that are thousands of years old in the game. Humans who have waited under the mountains for millennia. The developers have also specifically mentioned At the Mountains of Madness as an influence. That's a story about a bunch of monsters that are sleeping inside of an ancient buried structure until explorers arrive and wake them up, leading to a massacre. Obviously, from what we know about House of Ashes, that seems like a really familiar premise. Now we get to cocoons. Will there be literal cocoons in the game? Transforming monsters captured humans? Or is it just a metaphor? We're gonna have to wait and see. And finally, Into the Light. The final track likely references the character's escape at the end of the game. Every one of the Dark Pictures games so far takes place over a single night and ends at dawn which could be the light they're looking to escape into. In a nice twist, we could get a second eclipse here, bookending the game with them. Just when the characters think they're safe by getting out of the cave, suddenly there's an eclipse allowing the monsters to roam freely on the surface. Is that definitely going to happen? No, but it would be a hell of a final action set piece if they wanted to go that way. So we got more questions, more hints, but few clear answers. It's going to be torture waiting for four more months exactly. But as of right now, that's our only option. 
I've been the Hidden Object Guru. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. If you have any theories or subjects you'd like to see covered in future videos, please let me know in the comments section. Special thanks to my patrons Desire and Marissa. See you all back here for the next thing, but until then, au revoir.